Hi everyone welcome back this is Deborah and today I want to show you these lovely wine labels that my friend Nat sent me. Nat lives in South Australia and she sent me these most beautiful labels. I think they're from a book they're on really lovely thick paper they're double sided so I have to decide which one I'm going to cut out. So look at them aren't they just gorgeous the colours in them are lovely so I'll just give you a flick through she sent me so many of them really nice off her it's just a little surprise that popped into the mailbox just after Christmas she also sent me some really pretty lace but I think I've actually put it into my lace stash already so I can't see it anywhere on the table and a lovely little tag with a note on it so that was very nice of her. So today I thought I would use some of these beautiful wine labels. I'm going to make some pockets with these and I don't want them to be overpowered by any of the pattern paper. So I'm just using a plain cardstock. I thought that that might be the best way to do it, but I'm not really sure, but I thought, you know, I could do some and see how that goes. So I also don't want them to be really tiny on the pocket I want them to be kind of centered I think on the pocket so let's see I really like this green one here so I'm going to just measure this one so that's four and a half by just over three and a half so if I did a pocket so I'm going to have to double that so it's got to be eight by something so let's start by trimming the cardstock to eight And then, what did I say? Three and a half. So if it's eight this way, sorry, four this way, then I'll need about maybe five the other way, I think. We'll go with five and see how that works out. And then I've got my scoring board here as well. I'll just pop this back. And my score tools here. I might just cut this out because I think we'll have to go this way, won't it? Yes, can't put it that way, won't have enough room. So I'll just cut this one to start with. It's a really pretty label. Let's go. I'm not sure what book these came from, but I think they came out of a book. But South Australia, for those that don't live in Australia or perhaps don't know, is one of the big wine growing regions of our country. I've been to South Australia quite a few times actually, or I should say I've been to Adelaide. I've not been anywhere else. I've been to Adelaide a lot for work in years gone by, but only ever to the city. And you know, the airport, the hotel, the meeting room, and then home. So although I've walked down Rundle Mall and had a look around Adelaide city centre I can't say I've been there as a tourist so I don't really know what it's like but I know it's got a lot of churches it's renowned for its churches now this looks quite good with the different colour it's sort of picking up the brown that's in there and I thought if I just score this in half And then put this on the front. Now I may gusset it, I'm not sure yet if I want to gusset it or not. So I'm not sure if I'm even going to do that piece. But I am wondering what else I can put on there. Although it does look pretty good just as it is. And I'll just measure that. So I'll start with something very simple like this. Such a pity I have to only use one side, isn't it? But that's what happens when you've got things back and front. So I'm starting with a fairly simple idea, which is just to stick the label on the front and then maybe I can gusset it. Let me see if I've got any paper. Now, if you don't watch Nat, 
I think go and have a look at her YouTube channel. I will put the link below. She also runs a Facebook group that I belong to. I was an admin for a year, but I've now given up that because I've got so much else on my plate. But called um, Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters. Everyone can join Nat's group. We don't discriminate. And each month there's a few challenges that happen as well. So it's quite a good group to belong to if you want challenges. We don't offer much in the way of prizes, but it's more about just joining in really, isn't it? There you go. Got a nice little pocket there. I like that. So that would be one idea for using them. And I'll put this away. It's all gusseted so that it's going to be easy to put things in and out of it. And I'll put that away in my stash. Now let's pick some, I want some smaller ones for this, not the large ones. So something like that Macquarie Port one maybe. It hasn't got any lines around it, but I think I can hand cut that. And then I'll get my baby trimmer out. And that big one's a bit hard to handle sometimes. And I've put it over the back side of my desk now. So I have to use this baby one. So I'm going to start with just cutting some smaller pieces out. And let's find a couple more that are smaller. For example, this one here would be perfect. Produce of Australia and just making sure I don't cut through that back one because I've just spotted something that I want to use back there. I'll trim this one down. If I go back here, this is actually where I grew up in Cara. So I'm going to take that one and put on. There was another one there too, I think. That said, let's see what that said. I oh know that said Hulston, but this one says Cara Chardonnay, so I'll cut that one down. Have a look and see what else we've got in that little little size I'm looking for. I don't want to go too small, but I don't want to go too big either. And I also don't want to cut anything off that I really love, so I'm walking a fine line here. So my idea is that I'll start with this one because this one I can put up here and I'm going to make myself like a master board or a little mini master board full of labels because I don't know but I thought that that might look really cute with all these labels on here. Now I'd like a green one. I guess a white one would be okay as well. Let's find a Got this yellow one. Oh, here's a green one. It says Vintage Port. It's a pretty label. I wonder who comes up with these labels. I guess they have designers and things like that, huh? That's my guess, that they would have people who are designing for them. Because look how pretty that one is. Now I'm going to push this one down a little and I'll put this one in here. I need to put something on that one as well because otherwise I'm going to show that thing there which I don't really want to show. I just need to make sure I've got this high enough that it will cover. Once I do that thing it's going to be covered and this one's going to go over the side of this. Let's just double check this. I don't know if you can pick this up on camera, but this label has down the bottom here, they, they have the edge of it turned up. Can you see that? See on the bottom there on here? The edge of it is actually turned up like being folded. It's Montara Vintage Port and that's a beautiful label. I was thinking it was um, had flipped up, but no, it's actually meant to be like that. So there you go. I wonder if I can put the plaits one. That's a bit too dark, isn't it? 
Where's one of the others? Oh, what about this one? This is a nice bright one. I saw one for Saturn just before and if you haven't had Saturn, it's a very sweet dessert wine and it reminds me of my misspent youth. It was the drink of choice, I think, because somebody's mother had it. But, you know, it's pretty awful <laughs> when you think about it now. My palate certainly has changed since my days of drinking Saturn out of a ceramic bottle where it was hidden. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink much anymore. I like a wine occasionally if we have a special occasion, go out for dinner or something, but I'm not a big drinker anymore. Not that I ever used to be, I'm just saying I probably drink less now than I ever did. This Platts one's really cute too. I think I'm going to put this one down here. I'm leaving the side and the bottom of it on on this one simply because I want to then cover it with something but if I don't cover that side, it's not the end of the world. I do want to cover the bottom part here though. Got this one here that I could put down there, haven't I? I might need that for somewhere else. What's this little one here? This is a Chardonnay. Now I need like a skinny one, maybe the Oak Ridge. Um, yeah, probably the Oak Ridge should do it. That's going to just just go down the bottom but I still think that that will be all right when I cut that off you won't probably see all of the label but you'll get the message about you know it's enough I think it's enough for this particular thing that I'm doing and I'll just get that out of there what else have we got I might have to go and cut some more actually I'm going to put this down here. I think that'll look good there. I do. Look how cool that is. I love it. That's really nice. <laughs> it just looks like one big mixed label. Now, am I going to be brave enough now to cut this up? Because that's what I was going to do. I was going to cut it into, into strips. Because it's about, what, eight inches? Not quite. So if I cut it into belly bands, is it going to ruin it? One, two, three. I'd like that lady to be all on one. Let's just see what that would look like. All right. I wasn't going to, but I've decided that I will chop it up into belly bands now. So I need a belly band that's, that's about an inch and a quarter wide. And that seems to be quite good for a belly band. Okay, let's do it. Really interesting. That's really nice. And then I want that lady and maybe this house all in one. Okay, another one. And the next one, I should get three more out of this make these a little bit thicker because I want the house and I also want some of that okay and then one more I'm just gonna have to divide it aren't I about half five different belly bands what do you think I think they're nice I'm gonna have to use them in a journal I particularly like this one no in fact I like them all I like that look you get when you just chop things up and there's nothing to say that I can't then add more on the belly band afterwards it doesn't mean that just because I've made it into a belly band that means I have to use it I can use it as a belly band but I, I can actually put things on top of this those to one side I like those a lot now I've chopped down some of the tags or the wine labels I should say because I want to make them into tags and I have cut some paper up but I probably should have 
stuck the things down and then chopped the paper. It might have been more efficient to do it that way. It wasn't what ended up happening. But I, it will still work. It just means I'm going to use a little bit more paper. In fact, I'm just using the Manila cardstock. So it's a great surface to write on. And I'll have the back. The back can be a writing spot then. I've chosen some of the, the wine labels that are sort of, you know, in that portrait mode. They're, they're tall and they're slim or they're skinnier than they are tall. So I think from that point of view, it's probably going to look good as a tag and it's something that I can tuck in into something and it will work quite well as a, as a journaling card. Never can have too many journaling cards. So I'll just put them to one side because then I want to start cutting them down. I can cut the corners because I wouldn't normally on the others, but there's white space either side. And there I've got a little journaling spot, slash tag, whatever you want to call it really. So that looks great, I think. Really nice really nice to put something like this into a pocket even that one's tall enough that's why I've chosen the longer ones so this is what I've made I've made the belly bands and I've made all of these journaling spots and even if I just went through and did journaling spots with them all what fantastic journaling spots are they but I also love the pockets I want to say thank you very much to Nat for sending these to me I absolutely love them she actually did a flip through on her YouTube channel when she got these and I said oh they're lovely and I've been coveting them ever since so she's remembered it was a while ago and she's remembered and sent me some that was very nice of you and thank you very much for joining me don't forget that the link to Nat's channel is in the description below she's only just gone over a thousand subbies so go see her channel and give us some love and I will catch you next time thank you very much for watching this is Deborah cheers